what is the contribution of the aviation industry, what is the contribution of Aero to the promotion of sustainability? The support of Aero in terms of sustainability is getting each year bigger and bigger. We have um, in our hall A7 the dedicated electric uh, e-flight exhibition, um, which is bigger than ever this year at Aero 2023 with uh, 50 exhibitors. This is our, I would say, center of um, sustainable aviation. But we have on the entire showground 126 exhibitors on our so-called sustainable aviation trail. So we truly showcase how innovative towards sustainable aviation the exhibitors from the general aviation side are. That's what we want to showcase there. Furthermore, we have a lot of conference sessions going on, which have the primary topic on elect, e-flight, e-VTOLs, all of that. And also in dedicated um, special interest, I would say, conferences like our business aviation conference, our setups uh, conference, or our conference on small regional airfields. Everywhere we, we kind of strive uh, the, the, the topic of sustainable aviation. So it's like everywhere. And as a last absolute highlight uh, our Aero Hydrogen Summit which we take um, which takes place on the Friday uh, 21st in the conference room Berlin this is an entire full day conference dedicated to hydrogen in aviation what means are being taken to counteract the shortage of skilled workers yes yeah, so it's a very big problem not only in the aviation industry, um, everywhere you look. And what we do this year also for the first time is we have a dedicated Aero Career Day, which is a career event for one day on the Friday the 21st in our conference uh, center west on the first floor. And there we have nearly 30 exhibitors, not only from the general aviation side, from like Aero exhibitors who have a stand in the rest of the show, but also from like commercial aviation and so on. On, and they present their career opportunities to young people. Further to that, we have also um, put a focus on inviting more young people from schools, from um, uh, associations, but also from universities to attend because of that. Drones are getting more and more important. A few words about it. So, absolutely. I fully agree. And that's why we have invented, um, actually, I would say, an exhibition within our major aero uh, exhibition it's called aero drones and it's in a dedicated hall e, uh, a2 um, and it's it has a certain focus topic it's yes it's a dedicated drone exhibition but with the strong focus on drone missions uh, for authorities, for police uh, bodies, for rescue services and uh, fire brigades. So all the drone manufacturers, suppliers um, and also some of the actually rescue bodies are exhibiting here at the show this time for three days. So it's one day less than the overall um, show happening from Wednesday till Friday. Um, and it's getting more and more. So this year we have round about 50 exhibitors in that hall, including DGI, a lot the German a a ADAC Rescue Service, um, a lot of other providers. So it's a great exhibition, a great concept. And it comes along with a three-day conference program just dedicated on drones, rescue missions and so on. So they are widely used. Absolutely. And we are actually, and that's why it's really important to address this also to the potential Italian future exhibitors. It's right now we have a lot of German, Austrian, Swiss related exhibitors and visitors and we want to definitely grow that internationally. So we are definitely looking forward to welcome more Italian exhibitors there as well yeah? and visitors for sure. Fly Euro has been promoting aviation culture for years. Unfortunately, Italian aviation authorities are not always being present. What advice could you give to them to convince them to be present here at Aero every year? I would say there are a couple of strong reasons that they should join us next year. <laughs> One that comes up into my mind is the next um, show 2024 will be our very big 30th anniversary edition. So we're going to see probably more of everything, I would say, in terms of visitors, internationality, exhibitors. Um, and Aero, I mean, at the end, this is the leading 
platform trade show for general aviation all over Europe. So we have a lot of attendees from it uh, from Italy. We have a lot of exhibitors from Italy and. The, the idea is not just to showcase innovations, products, but also to network and exchange. And I think it would be really beneficial to exchange amongst the national authorities. We have the German LBA here, we have Austro Control here, we have um, the Swiss authorities here, and we have EASA here with a stand. So I think it's really beneficial to exchange a network. Mm -hmm.